What is up, Plastic Instruments Nation? I'm your host, Conjay, and let's get right into the news. 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 Hey you, remember how we mentioned the Egoless and Olympian Community Tag FCs from last episode? Well, they've both been completed. The final sections of both songs were completed recently, most notably from Egoless, the Egoless section, and Brown Recluse, which were taken down by Nados and Shmui. Awesome job to all the players who participated. The Olympian clips are being brought together while the Egoless video has been released. That link will be in the description below. Moving on, the keyboard community is showing us once again that they are all a force to be reckoned with by releasing their Community Tag FC of Prevail. Even with all the amazing keyboard players, they added another one to the mix by calling an ENV to FC some of the sections, and Ian is showing us how versatile he is when it comes to hardware, guitar or not. Speaking of hardware, XX760XX, also known as JP, has started selling his first batch of modded guitars. If you are interested in these, check out his Twitter in the description below. Also, you guys should subscribe to Plate Inc., a stream team composed of myself, FrifRef, Shmui, Archwick, Jarvis9999, ENV, Thria, Explore, and Darkly. Subscribe and be on the lookout for some future collaborations with each other and see what we pull off. Oh boy, we're at the longest part of the video, which is community accomplishments. We've got a lot for you today, so let's get right into it. Starting off with something crazy, Riff Raff is coming ever closer to dismantling two of the longest and hardest songs ever made, those songs being Megalodon and Triathlon. Megalodon has been two-part tech of seed with an FC Passful Trial and Patterns of the Gods. Somehow he missed in court at A, but I think we all have confidence that he will FC that song soon. Not to be outdone, his triathlon two-part tech FC has also occurred with an FC up to Amaranthine J. The days are limited for these songs, and Friff is making sure that they keep decreasing. Next up, we have quite possibly the greatest 3999 FC of all time, first ever Crisis Roof FC by Dawson Kern. Crisis Riff, coming from Crisis City VGH, is a section that involves consistent teleporting and raking to hit, and that Dawson did it for 3,999 notes is absolutely disgusting. Shout out to Dawson for pulling the speed off. Oh yeah, he also FC Dapid Dogs, but I don't think you guys knew that, so you guys should go subscribe to him. On the topic of first evers, your favorite clean player, Thria, has obtained a three-part tech FC of Solar Flare. This old school custom has gone un FC'd for years, and Thria is finally coming closer to FCing it. And once again, the moment you've all been waiting for, the Shmooey section, because when does Shmooey not do something that's absolutely wild? First off, Shmooey uploaded a first ever FC of Terminal, a mess of a song with chords that'll make your head spin. Secondly, he uploaded his full album tech FC of Agony by Flesh God Apocalypse. This includes all of Orange Hat's charts and Lemon GH's charts, along with Shade GH's Betrayal chart. This is definitely one of the greatest drumming accomplishments of all time, and all of it's been done standard drumming. This is also Shmooey's final video before the release of Shmootosh 2, which of course releases on 411. Of course, this probably won't be the only thing that happens in April. <coughs> Hopefully, once again, Red3517 will be watching Shmootosh 2 on his Xbox 360. Let's not forget about another nutty accomplishment that could happen soon, which is still a 6. That song is currently dying slowly, as Carney Jarrett has obtained a minus 6 on the full song. Along with this feat, he's obtained an 80% speed FC and a corded detrilled FC, something that was thought to need a femtosecond to transition into corded. Jared also obtained the Helidox World Record, but that didn't stand for a long time, because another player came in to push the song to its limits. Darkly GH has been pushing Helidox to the limit, as he obtained a minus 21 on the song. He mentions that he will probably not obtain a score better than this, but who knows what will happen in the span of this year. Along with this, he has also been uploading his progress on the Guitar Hero Full Series FC, in which he has FCs of GH1, GH80s, GH3, GHA, GHM, GHVH, and GH Warriors of Rock. Now, let's get into some returns. Some big, some small. We have the return of Ian V. Ian, who went on a hiatus, has uploaded his I'm Back mini Tosh, consisting of several insane clips, including progress of Synth Battle vs. Zeppi. He's not the only one who's returned, however, as Sinister GH and Nuclewood have made some small returns, with both of them uploading a video of them playing some sections. While this doesn't mean they're back full time, it's nice to see them playing the game and hitting crazy stuff as usual. On another note, here's some cool montages that you should all watch, because they're all pretty nice. We have Dawson's 200 subscriber montage, Comical K's montage, which you shouldn't watch unless you like excessive spam, 3's weekly keyboard montages, and Matt Don Jaxi's Matt Taj 2. On to some news that isn't Clone Hero, but very consistent when it comes to plastic instruments. Early versions of Guitar Hero 1 and Guitar Hero 80's have been discovered, with early charts such as I Want Candy included in there. 
The artist of Graveyard Shift, a song that Etienne looked into to find its creator, has been revealed. Along with these, a new method to remove the Guitar Hero 2 strum limit has been brought to light. Because of these changes, Trogdor, a song that was previously thought to be impossible because of these limits, was FC. Moving on to our final section, chart releases. Let's begin with Frith's epic, wacky, and quirky overchart setlist, which has been released. As for single customs, Galactic Trance 2 by Oscar64 and Jarvis9999 has also been released. Also, Zeppi released a Destruction Armageddon metal cover, with more to come. And unfortunately, Meta AXS is releasing his final five customs. The first two, which are Seasons Rebuild and Vibes, also known as AXS2, have already been released. The final three will be released on April 1st, April 4th, and finally April 10th. And with that, that concludes March's Plastic Instruments Monthly. Thank you all for watching this month's episode. Once again, if you have enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to help out for his channel. Anyways, I'm heading out. Have a day.